Hello everyone, this is Stream You, and um, today, as I promised in my last video, I will show you my current cube collection. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, just about 13 cubes, as of right now. So, let's, let's get started. Um, let's see, what's first? This, this is actually my first and my worst cube, to be honest. It's this thing right here. As you can see, I've torn most of the stickers off so it can be easier to solve. But, yeah, the turning is really bad. It locks up, like, very, very frequently. I don't even know who made this. But, the turning is very bad as you may be able to hear. Um, so, it's a really bad cue to be honest. On with the next one. There's also a cube that I don't know the name, who made it. It's this cube right here. I don't know who made this all, but I got it after seventh grade, which was last year. Um, for actually, actually in math class because my, my teacher at the end of the year did a lesson on Rubik's Cube and how to solve one so I, per I participated in it and as a result I got this cube which was my main for quite a while but now now that I'm using it now after I got my my new, my new cube it's horrible so, next one, this is another one who I don't know who made it, I have like another one who I don't know who made it really, it's this key right here, um, I got this one at the Dollar Tree, it's very poor, very poor movement, I, I can't even turn it sometimes, it just locks up all the time. Just a very, very bad cube. Also, the colors are very similar, so that makes it ex also that's also another factor of visibility. Because if you can't see, because if you can't see the colors of a cube, it just you just can't solve it. Okay, and I messed up that algorithm. <laughs> um. That's not good. Cause this thing will take me forever to solve due to the fact that it's nearly impossible to solve. Um, yeah, just a very bad cube to be honest. And my next one that I, I don't know who made it is this. It is a one by two by three. Um, the the side turning on this on this axis, it is pretty smooth, but on this axis up here. It is very difficult to turn. You can't get many, very many scrambles on it, because it's a one by two by three. That's just how these work, really. And basically, they're like three scrambles or something. So it is a good quality cube. Like it's made well. It's pretty durable, but the turning isn't that great. So next up, we I have the two methods puzzles that I have. Um, the first one is the gear ball. This is one that I'm currently still trying to solve. I have solved it multiple times, but I can't solve it right now because I don't know the algorithm for it. But it moves very smoothly, which I do enjoy. So, a very difficult puzzle. I got it like for twenty dollars. So, it's a good quality cube, moves very easily, these gears can sometimes skip, so be like that, but other than that, good quality, my favorite puzzle, gear, gear ball. I'm sorry if we called it a gear cube, that's, um, that's just a fault of mine. Let's see, now the next one is this Mefferts Cube Extreme. 
And I have not solved this one yet. I haven't even gotten one, one full side yet. Because I have never seen a scube in my life. Let alone held one. Let alone even search up the algorithms for it. So, I'm completely lost with this cube. It also has ball bearings in it. Which is cool. I don't know if you can see in there or not. But, yeah, just that little white dot in there. That's the ball bearing. The turning is fairly easy. But, this cube is prone to pops quite a bit. I've popped it, like, at least ten times since I got it. Which was, like, three or four weeks ago. So, I haven't been using it much. But, good quality cube anyway. Next up, I have this Rubik's 2x2. This was one of the first cubes that I ever bought with my own money. So, it is, it is pretty, it's pretty good. Not the fastest, of course. Um, the, the turning isn't that great, because it does lock up sometimes. As you just saw, and I, and it does fall sometimes. And for all these cubes, I just use the beginner's method. So, if you actually, um, like, lube it up or loosen it somehow, because Rubik's doesn't want you to mess with the cubes at all. But if you put lube in here, if you put lube in here, it would become much faster, but it is still susceptible to locks. The next one that I have is my Rubik's 3x3. This is another one of the cubes that I have bought with my own money at the same time as the 2x2. I bought these both in a set at Walmart. Well, they weren't in a set, I just bought them both together. It is pretty fast. Um, it's always not the best quality of cube, but as long as it works, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, <laughs> sorry I'm saying I'm a lot, um, there we go then. This cube isn't that bad, but when you compare it to some other cubes, like this one, and especially this one, it is just the superior. Next up is my Rubik's 4x4. I have solved this a few times, but... Since there are parodies involved, I don't know those yet. Um, this cube is also very susceptible to lockups. And if you just saw, like, in this area over here, there is a tile missing. Because my sister did take out all these edge pieces, because you can take them out. You can possibly see a little notch in there or something. That you can pop it out. So my sister popped all of them out, and she lost one. So, the, the turning is pretty good, but it is very loud. The inner layers feel pretty good. The outer layers are more locky, so they don't move as smoothly. But, another Rubik's puzzle that I really do enjoy solving with. Next up is my Mofeng Gi. 2x2x3. Two by two by I have un I have used these many times. So here it is. It is pr a pretty good cube. Four, five, six, six. Yeah. It is very well made. Like I did all the, the tensions on it a little bit. So that it corner cuts a little bit better. Um but let's just go through a quick solve here. So this is a pretty good be this is a pretty good puzzle to sort of begin with just to challenge yourself a little bit while you're at school or something. So I would recommend this puzzle if you know how to solve it, of course. Um very high quality, but when I got this the person who sold it to me said that 
This is one of the harder end cubes, or one of the higher end cubes, and it's much more difficult to solve. Because knowing how to solve a 3x3 three three is, com is completely useless with this cube. Because none of the algorithms work. Because there's no center up here. And you can't do a center solve like this. So, it is a very difficult cube. But once you get into the algorithms, it is fairly easy. Now, my next one is, it's a key mirror. So, I've, I have had both of these Mofangi and key puzzles for a while. And they are very high quality, very good puzzles. I would recommend them. But the only thing that I don't like about the mirror is, ha is how the top layer, the brushed metal can sometimes be offset, as you can see with the reflections. Because this one's brighter than, than all the others. So, but it is a very good cube. Just because it is a key puzzle. And I like it. It is a very difficult cube. Well, not very difficult. If you know how to solve a 3x3, three three, you can basically solve this. But there is one parody, I believe, where these two corners right here are flipped. I don't know if that's a parody or not, but I think it could be solved just with a this was an algorithm that's not a parody algorithm, so a very high quality puzzle. Could use some loosening for now, but I'm not gonna bother with that. So yeah. next up is my these are the last two cubes to be honest. It is my Moyu Waylong GTS 2M. I actually have two of these. But this one right here still has a in it, and it hasn't seen much daylight. I have used it. It's the exact same cube. I'm also going to be reviewing this one. So This one I have been using for a while. As you may see with the stickers, because they are falling off in multiple places. The center sticker is sort of starting to fold up. So, it is a very high quality puzzle. The mechanism is very interesting. Come on, if, if I can get this out here. Um, so as you can see, it fits right inside there. So it, this center right here, it's hollow. Um, but unlike with other cubes, it's actually sort of filled in. So this is a very good starter puzzle for when you're just starting out cubing. That's what the starter puzzle is. And I have gone much faster with it. This one has altered tensions. So. It is much easier to solve. Oh, I just screwed it up. Um. <laughs> that's not good, is it? I am obviously not the fastest. As you can see. From that quick little half saw right there. But very 